Five minutes. Leave your bags. This isn't a permanent conversation. <laughs> Dripping on your rug. It's been dripped on before. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm sorry about this. I didn't know that there were going to be any complications. Yeah, well, there's a lot of that going around lately. I don't blame you for being hostile. I think I get the picture. Tony rented me the apartment and split with the money, right? And then you and your daughter got dumped on? <laughs> that is your version. My version is that Tony and I amicably end our relationship. We agreed I would keep the apartment, and you and your $600 got dumped on. Get the picture? Very sharp. Sharp. That's very sharp. You a sharp New York girl, right? No, a dull Cincinnati kid. But you get dumped on enough, you start to develop an edge. OK. So what's the deal, huh? I mean, I got a lease here in my pocket. You going to honor it, or what? I got a daughter in my bed. That tops a lease in your pocket. Look, I don't want to get legal, you know? Legal happens to be on my side. Now, I happen to have a lawyer acquaintance downtown. Now, all I got to do is call this lawyer acquaintance of mine. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? An actor. Another goddamn actor. I happen to have a lawyer acquaintance. Right out, a streetcar named Desire. Stanley Kowalski and Summer Stock, right? Wrong. Chicago in the dead of winter. Three and a half months at the Drury Lane Theater. Ask an actor a question, he gives you his credits. You want to hear the reviews? Elliot Garfield brings to Kowalski dimensions that even Brando had not investigated. Terrific! You write beautifully. Aren't you a little short to play Stanley? Nobody noticed I stood on the poker table. What are you, a critic? No, no, I love actors. As long as they stay up on the stage where they belong. But you put them down in real life and the whole world gets screwed up. Well, I have had enough. I am not getting kicked out of the same lousy apartment twice. You want your money back? Go to Naples. You want this apartment? You buy me two tickets to California. I will give you two minutes to think it over before I yell rape. Jesus, you are really something, you know that? Really, I'm surprised Tony didn't take a job in the Philippines. I hope you're thinking because I am counting. Will you wait a second? Just hold it. Will you just go, go, hold it? Can we make a deal? What kind of deal? I don't know, I just got here. <laughs> Can I have a cup of coffee? No. Oh, don't be bashful. Just say what's on your mind. OK. All right. Uh... Here is the situation. I know the situation. Just let me say it out loud, all right? I mean, I don't really believe this myself. Number one, I have a job off Broadway, but I have no place to sleep tonight. Number two, you don't have any money, but you've got my apartment. Also, you have a daughter to think about. I am thinking of her right now. Do me the courtesy of hearing me out, please. You are not the only one who can scream rape, you know? <laughs> we are both in a bind, the two of us. And I think the only practical solution is that we share the apartment. I accept. What? I accept. I may be stubborn, but I'm not stupid. You mean it? I have a daughter who goes to school, and I have to start looking for a job. You have a key. I would have to stand guard all day long to keep you out. I accept. You win. Get your bags. You get the small bedroom. What the hell am I getting myself into, huh? 